The 1-1 from Campbell. Line drive to right field. That'll fall in for a base hit. Porter will score. Herrera held at third by Kevin Hooper. The throw comes through to home plate. It's an RBI single for Nick Blaze in a right field, and the Wingnuts have drawn even at one and one. So Blazy with a count even. Campbell off the stretch. Horn lines to the right field. That's through for a base hit, and the Wingnuts will take the lead. Herrera scores standing up. Ball bobbled by Burns in right field. Pearson scores right behind him, and the Wingnuts now lead three to one. Josh Horn pokes a single. Garrett right. set in front of the chest. The runner goes. Pitch taken low, but a second base by Mewich. On the money, tagged by Herrera, and McGill is out at second base. Joel Mewich, a perfect throw to second right on top of the bag. Brennan Herrera slaps it on the hand of Sean McGill, who has thrown out for the first time this year. 36 times in a full season. Still 3-2. and two. The pitch by Cowart, swing and a miss, got him on a changeup outside. Adam Cowart fans, Peachy Ballette on a three and two changeup and the inning comes to an end. No runs, one hit and no one Working left. from the stretch, first base side of the rubber. First pitch to Hunt, swings, it's a high fly ball in the right field. Back goes Burns, back towards the track. He's looking up at the fence and it's out of here. Kelly Hunt with an opposite field grand slam home run to right center field and the Wing Nuts have taken an eight to one lead. Zach Klein works off the third base side from the stretch first pitch. Porter lines into the gap in left center field. That's going to get down for a base hit and roll all the way to the wall. Mewich on his way to third base. Kevin Hooper is going to wave him to home plate. Mewich on his way to home. Here comes the relay throw by Gonzalez and Mewich will score standing up. It's a double and a run batted into left center field for Greg Porter and the Wingnuts now lead it nine to one. From a full windup off the first base side of the rubber. The 2-0 and Hunt swings and drives it deep in the air to left field. Forget it. Looking up as Maloney and this ball is over the video board in left center field. A monstrous home run for Kelly Hunt, his second of the game and his seventh of the year. And the Wingnuts now lead it by a score of ten to one. What a blast by Kelly Hunt that was hit over Chested the off the stretch. More swings, loops it in the air. Short left field, a tough play. Ballette coming on. That's going to fall in for a base hit. In his score is Pearson. Right behind him is Nick Blazy. Blazy scores standing up. A two-run single to left field for Dustin Moore. And the wing that's now lead it 14-1. to one. Done it twice this year. Dustin Moore has done it a couple of times. The 1-1 one, one slider hit in the air deep down the left field line. Moving over Ballette towards the corner. This ball is off the top of the fence and in play. Around third base is Josh Horn. He comes in to score. It's a double and a run batted in for Kelly Hunt. And the Wing Nuts now have a 15-1 lead. Well, it's a high fly ball to left field. Back goes Ballette towards the well. He's looking up at the fence. And this ball is gone. Josh Horn homers over the left field fence. And the Wing Nuts now have a 16-3 lead. The fourth base hit of the night for Josh Horn and his second home run of 2009. He homers off of Carlos Guevara. Tonight. Goldberg sets up away. First pitch by Young. It's popped up on the infield. This should do it. Brennan Herrera coming in from second. Called off by Josh Horn. Horn makes the catch and the ball game is over. The Wichita Wing Nuts for the second time in three days tie a franchise record with 16 runs scored and win over the